Hello everyone, I'm Eric Barker, Dean of the Purdue College of Pharmacy. Thank you for joining me today. Well, homecoming looks a little different this year, but we're hoping these virtual events will bring a little bit of campus to you. It's been a busy time in the College of Pharmacy this fall. We've had several initiatives going on that I want to be able to share and tell you about. One is Protect Purdue. Early in the pandemic, we played a leadership role for COVID-19 testing of students, faculty, and staff on campus. College faculty and staff continue to play a major role in health-related activities for campus as we continue to manage this pandemic. We also helped to plan and execute the campus-wide flu shot clinics for Purdue. This fall, we required all faculty, staff, and students to receive a flu shot before October 31st. Over 250 pharmacy students and over 70 alumni and faculty volunteered, allowing us to administer over 20,000 flu shots during the nine clinics. We are ever grateful for everyone who helped to make this a success. We've received some questions about how students are continuing to maintain those important relationships between classmates and how we are helping them deal with the stresses of the pandemic. Although there is limited contact between students, we are still holding in-person classes, group activities, and group projects while following social distancing and safety guidelines. We are holding wellness-specific labs in all of the programs and sending out a weekly wellness newsletter with resources targeting at students. Our students have also been doing their part and sending positive messages to each other through GroupMe. Our students have done a great job of following the Protect Purdue Pledge. Protect myself, protect others, and protect our Purdue community. They have helped control the number of COVID-19 cases on campus through their diligence and taking precautionary measures. Thank you to them for their efforts. If you haven't heard yet, we're partnering with the School of Nursing in the College of Health and Human Sciences to build a new active clinical learning facility, a state-of-the-art educational facility focused on resources for training the next generation of leading clinicians. Thanks to so many of you, we've already raised nearly $25 million for our facility needs. This effort is the number one facility priority of the university in our budget request to the state of Indiana. As we move forward into 2021, we'll have a clearer picture of our timeline for breaking ground. With the role of the pharmacist shifting more from distribution of product to direct patient care, this new facility will enhance the clinical learning our students receive. Our collaboration with nursing will give our students the opportunity to practice interprofessional teamwork, getting them ready for their careers after graduation. The new facility will have cutting-edge technology, innovative and collaborative spaces, and experiential simulation, including virtual reality. The roles of a pharmacist and pharmaceutical scientists are key in developing new treatments and driving patient satisfaction, and we need to keep our competitive advantage to stay in the top 10 pharmacy programs in the nation. This new facility will help meet the healthcare needs of the future, especially here in Indiana. The college has also been focusing on diversity initiatives this fall. We've recently held a town hall meeting focusing on diversity with some of our alumni, and we plan to host more in the future. Students, faculty, and staff will be going through a training in four-dimensional diversity model focusing on personality, internal dimension, external dimension, and organizational dimension. This model demonstrates that diversity is inclusive of everyone. We recently established the Center for Health Equity and Innovation at Purdue. The center addresses the needs of underserved populations, both locally and globally. Long term, they hope to reduce health inequity through innovative strategies. The CDC defines health equity as being, quote, achieved when every person has the opportunity to attain his or her full health potential and no one is disadvantaged because of social position or other socially determined circumstances. 
You can follow the Center's Facebook page for more information on their initiatives. Again, I thank you all for staying connected with us and learning about what the Purdue College of Pharmacy has been up to this fall. We hope to see you back on campus soon, but until then, boiler up and hail Purdue!